Prince Harry joked about fiancé Meghan wearing the trousers in their relationship as they met with young DJs during their second public engagement on Tuesday. Harry and Meghan visited Urban Radio Station, represent in Brixton, South London, where they chatted to dozens of young DJs, with Harry even carrying off a complicated fist bump with one. During a discussion about gender equality station manager Adrian Newman told Harry they had a question for him to which he pointed at Meghan and swiftly replied, she answers the questions. Yes talking of gender equality, Meghan quickly snapped back with a smile on her face. The couple enjoyed a tumultuous welcome to Pop Brixton, where the station, which has been running for 15 years, is based. Meghan and Harry smiled broadly as people teared and shouted, and in response to Harry's gesticulating to the crowds and comment this is so loud, you have to. Meghan turned and blowed a kiss which had everyone screaming even louder. Meghan was wearing a 578 pounds camel brando coat by Canadian label Smythe, a scarf by Jigsaw and a 45 pounds sweater by Marks and Spencer. However the bride-to-be appeared shocked at the adoring response from fans. Harry motioned toward the fans behind them as they spoke at the entrance to the building. Harry said, it's so loud, give em a wave. This sparked the fans to cheer even louder as Meghan turned around, but the royal-to-be was shocked at the response putting her hand to her mouth. Inside the station, Meghan took off her coat to show off a black Marks and Spencer jumper today, a far cry from the pricey outfits of her previous public appearances. She also kept her hair more casual, wearing it up. Harry was wearing a Taylor scarf along with a Smythe coat. Meghan said to one staff member, It is so nice to meet you. The couple have been listening into the station and sharing a joke with staff while wearing headphones. The song? The appropriately titled to flirt by Pote for the Love Up Couple, the station trains hundreds of young people every year in media and employment skills. The represent training program was established in Peckham in 2008, in response to the alarming rise in knife crime, to help young people develop and socialize through radio. One quick-thinking DJ slipped Prince Harry his business card as the couple left the venue. The prince smiled and accepted it with a slightly confused look on his face. DJ at your wedding the man joked. The visit has left the London neighborhood buzzing with excitement, with hundreds lining the streets to welcome the couple. Shane Carey 46 founder and chief executive officer of Represent, who hosted the couple said, Since the visit was announced there's been massive excitement in the station, much more than I could have expected. He added, We're having the spotlight shown on us from all the world's media pretty much, we've never had this attention. The whole point of this is that the young people learn how to be creative and then shine with it and they're really getting a chance now. Harry and Ms. Markle were whisked inside Pop Brixton, a community project that houses independent local businesses, startups new restaurants and the not-for-profit station in shipping containers. Dozens of well-wishers had been allowed into the building's covered courtyard and they line barriers as the couple walked past, inside represents studios, the couple, who got engaged in November and will wed in May. Met presenter Gloria Bay 17 host of radio show Glory Talks, who was on air and her producer Finn Whitehead 27. Alongside the music she chats with her listeners about her favorite tracks, tweets and life generally. Miss Bay said there had been a lot of shock around the visit adding, for two people who are making headlines in the news to come to a place where there's usually just a little column in the newspaper, about us. I think a lot of people thought those two worlds would never collide. After having a private meeting with Carrie, the founder of Represent FM, Harry and Meghan dropped into a live broadcast to meet presenter Glory. The couple timed their entrance perfectly as the presenter had just started a track which meant they could talk without the listeners hearing them. The 17-year-old DJ admitted she was the youngest in the station when she was quizzed by Ms. Markle. The teenager talked about how she had been given the opportunity to host her own show after doing work experience at the station when aged 16. At one point Harry made Meghan laugh by gesturing towards a CD mixer as if he was about to start scratching a track. As their few minutes with the presenter ended, Meghan praised the presenter adding, I can see why your show is so popular, you're so thoughtful and your approach is so engaging. Meghan then made everyone laugh when she added, I must tune in. Harry also learned a new represent handshake from the station's DJ Remy, amid much laughing. The prince learned the art before everyone exploded into laughter. Laughing, the prince said, don't go anywhere, I want a group photo later. Harry and Meghan are being told about the programs and meeting the volunteers who have benefited from their time on the courses. 
They are also visiting the studios at P.O.P. Brixton, a temporary project that has turned Issa's land into a creative space for local, independent businesses. The Mirror's royal correspondent Victoria Murphy was at the studios covering the visit. It is the couple's second official engagement together after the debut in Nottingham last month. Thank you for watching.